Thank you. Okay, so this five-year-old, she fell off the swing and slide, and that's the picture. So um, I'm going to ask the panel, what do you think? It's little more than Montagia. Samir? Yeah, you can see that the uh, ulna is fractured, the radius is fractured, plus there is lateral subluxation of the radial head. Yeah, probably so, uh, posterior. Basically, posterior. Uh, yeah, so you can, so there are, first is to restore the length. So there are two ways of the principles will be either a nail, okay, uh, for the radius too, and see once you have reduced both the radius and the ulna, be ensure that the radial head has come back. So, I agree. So let's have a show of hands. How many of you think just close reduction is sufficient? Close reduction and cast. Yeah. Okay. And how many of you think something more is needed, like nail or plate? Okay. So majority. So that is correct. So close reduction was attempted. That's plastic deformation of radius is also there, which was corrected. The ulna was very unstable, and there was communication, which was not appreciated in the initial X-ray. So this was very unstable, and the radial head kept popping out because of this comminuted ulnar fracture. So this was not going to stay in the cast. So decision was made to put a nail, and uh, you can see comminuition. What do you think? Is this implant OK, or I should have used plate? Sandeep? So typically to hold the radial head back into position, uh, the length of the ulna does become important. But I've always seen that if you have a cast which is more than 90 flexion and the radial head is stable against the capitulum and you allow the ulna to heal, then it can be treated conservative. You don't have to plate everybody. This is good enough. But it yeah. depends on stability. Yes, um, I agree. So this was a little, I used, purposefully used a stainless steel nail, which is little stiffer than the titanium elastic nail. I was hoping that this would maintain the reduction. This was done late in the evening and plate was not available, but I was worried about that communication and this going collapsing. Fortunately, it didn't. That's how it looked at three weeks. It went on to heal well. That's how it was at six weeks. Then that's how it looked at three months, and then implant was removed, and it, it went on to make uneventful recovery. OK, so I would just like to ask you, it is very difficult to evaluate the lateral subluxation of the radius in AP view. So I mean, if you are observing, how did you ensure that the radial head was still inside? Yeah, in so uh, I put her in a bi-wall slab for 10 days, and clinically I was checking. And removing that, I put a new cast on. But I agree, it, it's very difficult unless we extend the elbow fully. Okay, so this eight-year-old girl with right elbow pain. So again, the question to the panel, Ranjit, what would you do? So you want to describe? Yeah, it could be a subluxated radial head, and there is, uh, I'll need an AP also, because. Yeah. So it's elbow dislocation it's and, and radial, radial head radial dislocation. So Possibility needs to be of a medial epicondyle also involved. I don't know. Yeah, about that. something we are not sure of that. We are not okay. sure of that. So how many think that this needs urgent treatment? Since, yeah, so all of us agree. So that is exactly what was done. So those are intra-op images. So still the radial head is out. The elbow, the ulnohumeral joint is reduced. So this was done by adult colleague and they thought that with flexion it will go in and they thought that with a cast it is staying in but when you extend the elbow it is coming out. So they put a plaster on and that's the picture, that's how it looked. So what, what do we do next? Our options are we get a radiograph showing full length of the forearm, we do MRI, we do CT scan or we do uh, radiograph of the opposite side. So how many for A? How many for B? C, D or E? No. Okay. So they did both. They did radiograph of the unaffected side, which was normal. 
they did MRI, like Ranjit was pointing out that probably there is medial epicondyle which is entrapped into the joint. But as you can see, there is nothing inside the joint and the radial head is out. So full length radiograph of the forearm was done and that showed plastic deformation of the ulna. So if we draw a line along the tip of the olecran or proximal ulna and distal ulna, it should be a straight line and whole of the ulna should touch that line. But here you can see that it's apex volar kind of angulation over here and that is driving that radial head out. So it's plastic deformation of ulna and radius with radial head dislocation. So how do we treat this? Close reduction, can we correct that? It's difficult, it, it was, that's the first uh, try one should do. So we tried that but it's very difficult to correct the apex volar angulation and that was not getting corrected. So I had to do osteotomy and I put a plate, yes someone might have used a nail over here and I could achieve close reduction of the radial head. So it went on to heal well and she made uneventful recovery. So someone has published on this, Sheetal Parikh, that the, these are the commonest causes of misdiagnosis of Montagia, plastic deformation. So correction of ulnar bowing, always, always, always do a full length forearm radiograph if you cannot see any obvious fracture, probably there is plastic deformation and the treatment is first is trial of close reduction if not insertion of a rigid pin or if that doesn't work then osteotomy with plate. So take home message in Montagia's identification in acute setting is very important. High index of suspicion if you are looking at a dislocated radial head especially in a young child then optimal imaging, never settle for radiographs which show only part of proximal forearm and it's the uh, fracture pattern of the ulna that decides how we treat these Montagia. So plastic deformations or green stick fractures, close reduction and cast. If it is a, a transverse or short oblique fracture, close reduction and if possible intramedullary nailing and if it's a comminuted long oblique then plate. Thank you. Thank you.